Hi! Today, in this tutorial of Paint 3D, I'm going to show you how to use an image of yours and create 3D models inside this picture. Uh, as you see, I have already created my life jackets over here. Uh, if you have uh, uh, watched uh, previous lessons about uh, creating models of life jackets, then you are ready to go to this tutorial. Otherwise, go back to other lessons and uh, come again to see this one. Uh, create, learn to create life jackets. Uh, I, I have made this tutorial in previous lessons. So now we continue to make an umbrella. Let's create an umbrella for our sea. So uh, for our summertime in sea here. Okay. Uh, let's uh, choose from 3D shapes. Let's choose an object called capsule. Design with your mouse how thick or thin you want your umbrella to be. Then choose a, a, an object that looks more like an umbrella. Okay, I think hemisphere is fine for my umbrella. Okay. Let's move it in the cor correct position. Okay. Now, I'm going to choose this and this part of my model and group it to make it one. Now, here we have some axis that we can rotate our umbrella to which position we want our umbrella to be. We can rotate it in every, every axis uh, rotation. Okay, let's leave it over there. We can move it in the picture where it best suits our needs. Let's leave it over here for now. And let's, and let's start making designs inside this umbrella. I will choose 2D shapes. Let's choose a triangle at first, design a triangle, move it Okay. And the give a color to the umbrella. Choose the brushes. Choose a color and with the bucket fill paint the triangle. Repeat the steps. Choose two the shapes. A new triangle now with the same way. Move it. Rotate it. To fit exactly as a real umbrella, fit it perfectly, rotate it a little, enlarge it, and rotate it to fit it. Fantastic. Okay, that's it. A little bit more. Okay, now let's give a color to this part of our umbrella. The colors are getting more easy with this way. There are also other ways of coloring your 3D models. We will see them in the future. So, now let's go to 3D shapes now, so to be able to move our 3D object. Sorry, sorry. Choose with the arrow your 3D model to rotate it to find the other position and the dimension, the other position, so to add our triangles. Okay, 2D shapes. Choose your triangle here. Rotate it again. Repeat the steps one and two. Enlarge it. Go to brushes, choose a color and fill it. Oh, no. If it is not coloring good, you must 
and do with control and Z to make again the triangle. Try not the triangle to to go out from the place. This is the mistake. Okay. Let's leave it over here. Let's give a color. I hope now it's okay. Okay. Uh, choose another one. Repeat steps one, two, three. Rotate it. Resize it a little bit. Bring a color. Let's uh, make it a red one. Now go to 3D shapes with your arrow, rotate. Uh, the umbrella to create more triangles to be more realistic. Well, rotate it. Be careful all the angles in the top to fit perfect with your project. Okay. Now let's give a color immediately. A gray one. Okay. Two the shapes. Another one over here. Rotate it. Resize it if it needs to. I will leave the color it has. Now, in the top of our umbrella, let's move the 3D shape first of all to move the axis. Okay. Let's create in a top of our umbrella a 3D shape with some. Um, a cone. With this cone, you can over here change the position of cone. If you like it more like this. Okay, let's give a color to this one here. I choose the yellow one. It's pretty nice right now, isn't it? Choose 3D shapes. Now with the arrow choose the 3D object. Move it to see what you have done. What is the mistake over here? Oh, something's going on here. So let's see what's the problem. No problem. Choose all the objects, select all, and group the object. Now, 
rotated. And as you see now, the red, the yellow piece that was, uh, it's now correct. Okay, let's find a better position for our umbrella. I like it. Um, where is the sun? Oh, pretty nice, isn't it? Okay. You may resize the umbrella. Ah, I will leave it like this. Okay. Now, what else we can create to our model? go to add a sticker to our umbrella. If we like a different design and we don't like these colors, we may choose one sticker of ours that best suits our model needs. I can choose this model, this uh, sticker, for my 3D model. No, it's not suitable. I must choose the sticker. A window is opening where you have saved your textures. I have one saved here called Exotic Sea. Okay. Now the picture is going to open in here, so it is ready to fill my It's not uh, yet suitable to use these stickers. So, we will use stickers to another umbrella we are going to use. Let's create quick, quick another umbrella. Okay, now we know how to design umbrellas. Let's do one quickly and add stickers in our new 3D model. Okay. Sticker, choose sticker, add sticker, exotic C, you see how you add the picture, the texture to your design, mm -hmm. and then click apply. Now, choose the both shapes and group them together. Make a rotation. Oh, I see here my, my uh, the back, uh, uh, here in background, we do not have, in the back place, uh, we do not have pictures. So, we have to turn around, turn around the picture, the 3D model, and choose to add again a sticker in the back side. So, Let's choose again the same texture, okay, and add it to this picture of mine. Resize it to fit it perfectly to perfect, and then just apply. Now, choose the 3D model and rotate it to see all the parts of your picture if you have uh, added the texture with way. Okay. It, if it's fitted, perfect. Then move where you want your umbrella to be. I want it like this. I will bring this life jacket over here. This one, maybe we can rotate them also. Work. 
where you like. OK, I find this picture fantastic. Let's save the picture. Menu, save as, as an image first. I choose to save it as an image and then I, I will try. It is already saved. Tweg in what uh, width or height you want your project to be saved, your picture, and then save. A window is going to open. Give a name to your picture. 3D Paint Umbrella. Oh, it's a mistake of the language. Let's choose English. Uh, 3D Paint. My Umbrella. Choose where you want your project to be saved and click Save. OK. Now, let's save it again as a 3D model. Choose 3D model. Give a name again. 3D paint my umbrella model. OK. Save. Wait a minute until your project has been saved. Don't close the program right now because it will stack your program. You must wait. OK. Now, let's go to see where the project is being saved. I have it already here. OK. Double click on the icon to see the result. This is my 3D model here. Let's move with our mouse button to see all the options of our 3D models. They are just fantastic. Okay, I hope you liked my video. Come back soon for another lesson. Please subscribe to my channel for supporting these tutorials. And uh, see you soon. Bye.